All right. Welcome to another episode of Comic Book Squares. We got another great one today. My name's Shane. I'm Carrie. I'm Ben. And I'm Mike. Let's get this show started. Well, this episode is going to be all about updates. Uh, we got a bunch of things uh, that are happening here at Comic Book Squares. Um, it's been about a year and a half now, I think, Ben, that uh, since yeah. we started the, the show. Um, and uh, so, you know, it's uh, probably about that time to, to change things up a little bit. Um, we're going to be uh, we're going to be bringing on uh, a friend of mine from I, I've known Carrie, I think, for it's been more than 13 years now, Carrie. I was thinking about that because you actually made the cake for my 40th birthday. I did. Ah. Yeah. I did. Well, and Captain I also America made... cake. Was that your, Hunter's okay, cake. I was going to say, I made a Captain America cake, and I couldn't remember if that was for you or for your yep. son. Well, yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. <Same thing. laughs> was, the, was the cake shaped like the shield? Yeah, it was great. It was, it was, oh, it had a, it was like a building with like a Captain America on the top with the shield. What? It was awesome. Yeah, nice. very cool. I'm going to need a piece um, of that so, cake. Yeah, kind of uh, sad news. Uh, Paul is going to be kind of stepping aside for a little bit, not completely leaving the squares but just taking some extended time off um you know uh, i don't i don't can't remember if we talked about this on the show or not but uh, paul and i actually met each other i can't remember, it was fourth or fifth grade right paul that sounds about right third, yeah third, it's been a grade, long like long that. time and it almost oh, yeah. our entire lives um, i think i think it went something like this you collect comic books yeah you collect comic books do we just become best friends Yep. I think so. <laughs> Basically, that's how it worked. Exactly. I had never met anybody to collect the comic books before. And, uh, and I was like, oh, my gosh, <laughs> we have to become best friends. <laughs> so, uh, you know, we we started this, uh, you know, all the, the four of us, Ben and uh, and, and Mike and, and Paul and I, we started this a year and a half ago. And uh, just to try and bring awareness to indie comics uh, creators. And, uh, you know, I, I had uh, talked with Carrie uh, pretty soon after we had started the show and uh, and Carrie had already said she was interested if there was ever an opening and uh, then you know Paul and I had a conversation about um, him needing to step aside for a little bit and uh, and I called up Carrie immediately and I was like well the window's open are you still interested <laughs> luckily <laughs> she still was so it'd be great to to have a you know a female's voice on here as well uh, just uh, that's one thing I think you told me when we when we met was like, yeah, it's just four dudes. I'm like, I know. I was like, very, oh, very original. Very four yeah, guys very talking astute, about yeah. comic books. Wow, that <laughs> never very happened. Astute observation, yeah, <laughs> never happened. Yeah, but all from so, so but, but, unique but all in the our, industry, right? Yeah, all, all from our own mom's basement, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah, I'm super excited to have uh, have your voice on here. It's going to be yes. great. Um, well, since uh, we got, other, if you don't yeah. mind me interrupting. Oh, yeah, go for, it. Uh, go for it. Since we're introducing Carrie on this episode, too, I don't mean to put you on the spot, but what are some of your favorite, uh, like, comics, comic oh, series? Yeah. that's a great point. Like that, Carrie. Oh, boy, I am unprepared. <laughs> um... Failure is not an option. I, sh I should have well, said something before the show started. <laughs> I know, so I could have made up a much better story than the one I'm about to tell you. Um I would say I'm more of the new age comic uh, book enjoyer where I came to it from the backside. So I came to it from movies that led me into comic books. So, um, I mean, Marvel's obviously like a, a simple one, obviously not. Uh, we're not talking small there, obviously. Um, they dominate the comic book world right now as far as what people know. And so at least that's understandable that I came to it from that side. But I've always enjoyed comic books, it, it, comic book adaptations, going back to like um, the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, yeah. like that, like that movie had me get interested. Right. And then it's just kind of blossomed from there. Um, and so many of the shows that exist in today's uh, streaming world, they all, like a lot of them stem from comic books or video games. And so mm -hmm. I like to go backwards. I like to, to watch the movie and then read the book. I don't like to get ruined by the book and then not have it show up in the movie. So yeah. 
that's i mean as far as favorites though like like i said league of extraordinary gentlemen but uh umbrella academy is fantastic and um and captain marvel is Mm. a favorite so yes very cool. Yeah, did, did you like the uh, the movie adaptation? Like what, of the two characters, uh, did you like the comic book one more after you read it, or the uh, it, of which one? Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel. Um, see, I am I'm in the minority where I don't hate Brie Larson, so. <laughs> no, <laughs> there's, there's a lot I'm of like, Brie Larson hate, and it's crazy. You know, yeah. I, yeah. I thought I thought the movie was highly enjoyable. I think I went to see it like three or four times. Wow! Um, and I loved. Um, oh my goodness! It went right out of my brain. The Disney Plus WandaVision. I love oh, WandaVision yeah. and how they brought in Photon. And um, yeah, I have my own theories about what's going to happen in mm. the Marvels. Mm-hmm. So, um, but I have a Mar- I have a Captain Marvel purse that I never use. Nice. It's just my favorite thing. <laughs> That's and, awesome. Um, so and so I don't. I mean, I enjoy the I enjoy the comics, but the movies are uh, highly enjoyable to me. Yeah. So I I don't think I I pick either one over the other. They're just they're different. They're not the same, which I also enjoy. Yeah. Right. Actually, yeah, I mean, I'm not a book purist that way, like, or even a yeah. comic purist. Like, if it's enjoyable, it's enjoyable. Yeah. Well, and to your point, they're two different mediums, too. You can't do what you do in a comic and in, in a movie exactly, or else it looks right. can be a little crazy looking. Like, could you imagine? <laughs> I know they're doing it in the Deadpool movie, but uh, could you imagine if all those X-Men movies had Wolverine in that yellow? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know uh, if that would have been as cool. Uh, if everybody would have been into yeah. it as much. <laughs> yeah, 100%. You can't, yeah, the, we and we've talked about that, this on the show too. I think, Paul, you've mentioned it quite a few times that they, you know, you, even like we've brought up the fact that uh, all the changes they made to Walking Dead from the comic book to uh, right. its translation to television and the fact that uh, Kirkman has mentioned many times, you know, why would I do the exact same thing in the comics? Then right. you know exactly what's coming. Like, right. Um, right. why would you watch You know, it? and then they created a whole separate character that didn't exist in the comics, Daryl Dixon, Darryl and became a huge huge fan favorite now he has yep. his own show that's going to start in right. another couple of weeks um so yeah yeah, uh, yeah you, definitely they're two separate mediums i 100 percent agree well comics have been kind of the untapped resource you know for you know movie adaptation i mean they've been adapting novels forever right i mean you know go all the way back to you know the, the 40s the 50s they were taking novels that were written and making movies out of them usually you know kind of with the same complaints oh it's not exactly like the well, why would you make it exactly like the book? Because then what compels you to go see it? You've already envisioned it, the novel in your head. You go see the movie and it's nothing like what you expected. You're going to be disappointed, but you shouldn't be because it's the second chance to tell the same story another way. Mm-hmm. You know, the infinity right. war and Endgame were a perfect example of that. Anybody that read the comics, infinity war and all the rest, the infinity gauntlet, all that. I mean, some of that stuff went on for years and years. Like, um, the, uh, you know, the, the, the Kree scroll war, you know, that whole thing again, mm-hmm. you know, if they, first of all, the MCU doesn't even have the rights to all those characters. So they couldn't even do those stories if they wanted to. But, um, I just, I, I like the fact that they changed the stuff up a little bit. I, I don't want to see on the screen exactly what I saw in the comic book because I could just go back and read the comic book if that's what I want. So Ben, I think next thing we should talk about is, uh, kind of the update on our script writing contest. Yeah, yeah. So uh, very uh, sad to have to announce that um, we're not able to uh, go through with the contest this year. Uh, we talked to uh, Dream Foundry, with whom we partnered on on this. Um, the funds just weren't raised in time um, to do the contest because there's supposed to be cash prizes and uh, along with some other things, and uh, we just weren't able to fundraise uh, by then. Um, we had some awesome judges in place, uh, so we are kind of disappointed that we missed out on that. And uh, we were, you know, we, I think we had planned to announce the judges. We kept putting it off because we were waiting to see what was going to happen with the money and everything. But, uh, uh, I mean, just so people know, we actually had uh, Mark Guggenheim uh, as one of the judges and Sarah Gailey. 
and uh, Mike Diodato Jr. Um, those were going to be our three judges, and they had all you know agreed to do so, which was awesome of them. So we want to thank them profusely for agreeing to, you know, uh, to judge this contest for us. Uh, but unfortunately, we're going to have to postpone till next year. We talked again, talked to Dream Foundry about it, and they were in agreement that, especially with the funding and all that, that it wasn't uh, they they, um, they weren't in a position to um, fund it as well. So, um, yeah, so we'll keep you all posted on that because we still want to do something like this. Uh, you know, uh, as we've talked about since the beginning of this show, uh, we, you know, the show is created to help support uh, indie comic creators. And we wanted to, um, you know, step it up and do a whole other thing, you know, a whole other level other than just getting on the show, but also supporting that uh, journey financially and with some exposure to uh, people in the industry. Um, so that is something we still want to do. Um, so stay tuned as we try to, you know, get that uh, back up and running and uh, we might start fundraising earlier uh, to get the contest going. Um, but yeah, uh, as of right now, we've had to post, uh, I'm going to say postpone instead of completely cancel, <laughs> uh, postpone the contest for now. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, it's definitely a bummer for all of us. I, you know, we wanted, I think we, we were just really ambitious and, and tried to, to get something launched probably sooner than we were ready um you know that this show is definitely a labor of love and you know none of us are making any money off of it and since there's no revenue coming in it's hard to uh, set aside anything to financially reward people for the contest um you know hopefully uh, over the next year we'll be able to start you know I, we we have already launched the uh the merchandise uh, platform um you know people can support through that and i think we're going to continue talking about other ways that you know maybe we can add like a patreon or something like that so people can maybe contribute to the show which will then we'll just take all those funds and put them into a bucket that we could use for contests um yeah. so that's we'll, we'll we'll figure it out uh we're you know our, as far as i'm concerned our show's kind of still in its infancy it's only a year and a half um and we're still building and uh, we've, we got a lot of things that we want to do and uh, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Yeah. So, I mean, we appreciate everybody showing interest who did show interest and had asked questions about it and everything. And, and again, we want to uh, make sure we bring it back, but to, yeah, to your point. Yeah, exactly. Shane. We'll, we'll get there. That's <laughs> our goal is to get there and, and really be able to help out people even more. Yeah. Uh, hey, Paul, you want to talk a little bit about, um, kind of the change in the, the structure of uh, the reviews and bringing back reviews? Yeah, absolutely. So one of the things that we'd, we'd uh, kind of after about a year that we, we assessed was that, uh, you know, a lot of viewers, um, you know, started out watching the review and then some tailed off maybe before, uh, you know, the end of the episode. Um, and so what we wanted to do was, was tighten that up a little bit, get right to the, uh, you know, the gist of the story, the art, uh, talk about the, you know, the creators and the work that they're doing. Um, and we realized we could do that in a more concise manner. And so uh, that's a goal for us here. And getting back to reviews, um, in the last, you know, year or so, there's been a real, um, you know, and not to say that, you know, you know, whether or not, you know, we had anything to do with that for sure. But um, there's been a lot of creators that have been able to put out some great content just in the last year or so. Um, and we'd realized that we hadn't had a chance to take a look at that. So um, some of the some of the creators had had multiple issues uh, of a given title that they created. And so um, a lot of times that's what helps attract attention as well. You know, sometimes a one shot doesn't really do it. But, um, you know, if they have a continuing series or even a mini series, you know, it tends to get more viewers. And so that was our thought was to uh, identify some of those creators that are out there and uh, take a look at their at their, you know, finished product. Uh, some of it is hitting local comic book stores. Some of it is, um, you know, digital at this point, but uh, with the availability to get the print version. So, you know, either way, uh, it, you know, they are getting some exposure. So we wanted to just sort of circle back to where we started and uh, tighten up the reviews a little bit, get back and, and you know, make sure that we could bring you guys some, uh, you know, just some really, really great content out there. Um, you know, we, we did a plenty of interviews where, creators were able to share what they what they had done um but i think you know one of the staples of the comic book squares was to uh you know give the viewers uh you know whether it's on youtube or the podcast you know an idea of really what you're getting uh from you know from from our group um you know our opinion on what we thought uh the book could bring you or i should say the product 
you know, some of sometimes it's a graphic novel because some of the creators we noticed wouldn't put out an individual book or a series. They would compile, you know, several stories, several, you know, issues and, you know, release it in a, you know, in a trade format. So, um, and that was really attractive to us too, because um, I don't know about you all, but, uh, you know, sometimes I can't remember what I had for breakfast. So ask me what I read read an issue 30 days ago i'm like without the recap page on page one man i'm just like okay you know this is a great story but i have no idea what happened a month ago so so the trade format's not not uh I, i'm i'm not opposed to that i i kind of like that sometimes now you know the the advantage is you know every arc every six issues or so you know even the big you know even the big two the big three if you count image in there they'll you know they'll release a trade um on a story arc so to see independent creators do that is is kind of awesome as well that they have the opportunity to do that. So and that helps us too because we can we can review one issue and say, oh by the way, there's five more issues in the trade version if you pick that up. So yeah, um, I think yeah. that was our goal was to circle back that way and 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 make sure that uh, that that you know anyone who who tunes in is really um, you know is really focused on some of these new creators and the work they're putting out. Plus, it was just fun doing the reviews. I, yeah. We just have a good time. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, I love our band. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, absolutely. It can, yeah, we can be a lot looser on the show. Um, you know, when you're when you're interviewing an artist, you know, we're we try and give them as much uh, time to to speak, you know, and let us kind of you know ask a question real quick and then just shut up and let them you know uh, promote their work essentially, which is great. And we got to meet some absolutely amazing people. Um, uh, I, I think that's what happened is right after we launched the show, Ben was just inundated with um, all these artists and creators that wanted to be on the show. And so we we thought, well, we'll, we'll go in that direction for a while. And, uh, you know, we, we kind of had a, a talk privately about it, how we you know, we we miss doing these review episodes where we can just be ourselves and relax and just enjoy the art of comic books. Um, so, yeah, to Paul's point, I think the other thing is, you know, we, we had done those as half an hour episodes. I think we're definitely going to you know get closer to 15 minutes on those just to tighten them up and uh kind of we're going to get rid of the uh, we had done our like a rating system and you know one of the things that i had wanted to accomplish with this show was to try and put more positivity out there and um I, you know we always try and find something good about every single book and and i feel like maybe the rating system you know may have get, been an opportunity to uh, not be negative but you know if you're given something three stars instead of five stars uh, you know then it's that's going to be seen as a negative and i feel like there's enough negativity on the internet right now um so you know our, our whole point is to try and help support people and uh and and just bring light to these books that you might not be aware of if you're you know just in the in the comic shop and you're just looking at you know the the big two marvel and dc and you kind of pass up some of these smaller books you might be missing an opportunity to discover something really unique because mm -hmm. uh without having a, a big series of editors and owners and ceos and all this other stuff above yeah. you uh at the is you're just a creator at one of those big organizations uh something unique is going to be harder to break through because they're going to look at the numbers and go well people really don't care about medieval right now and now that's a great idea shane yeah. but we're not going to do that book well with an independent creator you can do whatever you want because you're the you're everything <laughs> yeah. so yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. For sure. So, yeah, a lot of changes here at uh, Comic Book Squares. You know, a year and a half is a good time to kind of reevaluate and, and relook at things. So I'm excited about, you know, where we're going from from now. And uh, we're going to be doing uh, uh, some, I think we've got five review episodes we're going to do. And we're going to uh, do with all um, five of us. So that'll be interesting. Um, and then uh, Paul will be back, you know, kind of maybe periodically every so often as like a special guest. <laughs> One of those... Uh, <laughs> those old 80s television shows right? yeah. have a special guest on the guest starring Paul <laughs> to grow a mustache so right, yeah. grow up as a stranger we need the uh, the ship captain the ship wheel yes. around a like like from love boat love boat <laughs> Paul <laughs> Oh, man. We'll, have to, we'll have to have you do like that smile and I'll put like a little glisten in the, you know, when you have yeah, the, the teeth. Ding. Yeah. Yeah. Ding. Well, you know, I, I, I thought of myself as, uh, you know, gopher or maybe doc, but apparently I'm uh, looking more Stooping. like the captain. Yeah, yeah the that's right. That's right. The stube. <laughs> Stoops. Greetings, Captain Stubing. Permission to come aboard. <laughs> Very nice. Oh, <laughs> All right. 
Well, very cool. Well, I'm glad we were able to do this, uh, you know, update episode and just get everybody uh, kind of where we're at and, and what we're up to. I think, uh, Ben, if I'm not mistaken, we're going to try and move to um, kind of alternating. We're going to do review episode, interview, review, and we're just kind of going that pattern. So we'll, yeah. we'll still we'll still have people come on the show and, and talk about their work. Um, it's just going to be, you know, we'll have less spots. So uh, when you reach out and Ben, Ben generally handles all the scheduling. Um, so so be have nice. a good pitch. Yeah, be nice and have a good pitch ready. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I would not recommend emailing and saying, "All right, I'm coming on the show. When when am I scheduled?" Uh, that that will not help help to get you on the show. I would imagine. Got me on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. throwing a couple of Bitcoin. It only works every once in a while. <laughs> Slip in a, a couple of Bitcoin. Wow. Hey. Man, hey. High in demand show. Well, we could put it all towards the next the contest. That's yeah. right. It's no, for, I wasn't it's for planning good, on hanging uh, on to it. Right. That's, That's right. It's for a good cause. It's for a good cause. Yeah. Yes, exactly. We'll do the happy Gilmore. It's yeah. on the ninth at nine. <laughs> it's your schedule. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. Um I appreciate it. And uh, welcome, Carrie and yeah. uh, Paul. It's been amazing. All right. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in. A lot of big changes for Comic Book Squares. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.